Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. <clears throat> Today we are going to run through how you can create some dynamic commentary in your reports. Now I had a requirement like this come up uh, for a, a client engagement and worked out a way around it and then thought, wow, this is actually a really cool technique because what happens in reporting uh, and especially in historical reporting with PowerPoint, etc., everyone wants to put on commentary. And even though I don't think Power BI is the best use of uh, commentary because you try and you want to try and visualize things as much as you want there is certainly a requirement occasionally I think to get it on there and it's really cool though that you can create you can actually create dynamic commentary so what I mean by that is that you might have uh, some commentary in a, a table somewhere but you might want to as well as uh, filtering or slicing visuals you might want to slice the commentary that you've got inside your report pages so that they align to the uh, to the visuals so so in this case I've got uh, I've got the slicer based on a month and, and this commentary runs via month and so if I go April you'll see here that the table changes for just the commentary which is for April and then say we want to jump to May it changes from May and say we want to jump to June, it changes to June. Now this this is a, could be a very common requirement in reporting where uh, you might have a whole lot of commentary over time but you, and you want to look back at not only visuals historically but also what people said about what was going on at that time. So it's a great way to retrace your steps and see, um, you know, instead of forgetting, I bet, I bet this happens, I know this happens, you, you, you get, currently everyone uses static reporting in PowerPoint, they have commentary and then you forget about it two months later. But in, but here you can actually um, you can actually log all of the commentary that's coming in, coming in, and you can change an entire report page based on what uh, what month you have selected. In this case, you could slice on a variety of different, different things. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can do this. It's, it's really actually not that difficult. It's just a matter of setting things up uh, well in the background first. So I'm going to start with a blank sheet here, and I've got in it, I've got in here a date table. So we're already sorted out for a simple date table, so we've already sorted out with uh, dimensions that we're going to use. So now what I need to do is I need to connect, I need to connect to, I need to connect to the table that I have set up for this example. So I'm going to go and navigate towards my content, and you'll see here dynamic commentary. So I've already set something up. I'm just gonna double click on that and we'll see here what this table actually looks like in the background. So this is just an Excel table. It's got the it's got a date that the commentary was entered and then the commentary details. So I can uh, just, just call this commentary and then I'm going to add that to the data model. And then once this is loaded in though, we have to remember that we've got to draw a connection. We've got to draw a relationship between the date here and the date in our date table because that is what's going to open up the month of year, the month and year dimension. We need to, we need to make sure that there's a, there's a relationship between these two tables so those filters can actually work. So I'm going to drag the date to the commentary date and you see here that we've got a one-to-many relationship, which is great. Now we can create this table, right? So I'm going to jump back into the report I'm going to then drag my commentary date uh, onto the canvas and the colors have gone haywire here but if I just change these colors around uh, we'll go and find a different uh, a different different type of matrix and we'll just make sure that we can so you can see here that the colors have gone possibly an, an issue with um, this new table feature at the moment. So if I just fix these up, so just like looks like some of these settings need to be adjusted. But what we can do is change some of the colors here. So we might want to go put some alternative colors in. But what you can do, which is great, is that you see it's all in one line here, but what you can actually do is you can actually adjust this, bring it in. And the text will actually wrap. So if we go word wrap here and we drag it all the way in, we can actually make this look uh, however we like, basically. We can, um, we can lengthen it, we can actually put it into, say, a corner over here. 
and it can fit quite nicely into our report pages. And then so the one last thing we've got to do is we've actually got to use find the month and year filter here and um, again it looks like some of the settings are a bit off here so I'm just going to change these. This actually needs to be a slicer anyway. Cool, and then we have our month and year. And you can see here that now this is dynamic text and you can set this up in a variety of different ways and you can get um, historical commentary. And you can have this for months and months and months and you can see how people have described things and, and really, I guess, hold people to account based on their commentary. It doesn't just, just get forgotten like how it might in, um, in a lot of cases.